Ten years sounds like a lot, but it don't feel like that much. It still feels fresh. It still feels good. For me, it's when I look back at the footage, because I'm always in it when I'm there. I'm completely in the moment, like, nigga, living that shit. But when I look back, I'm like, whoa, we did some fucking magnificent shit. Like, it fucking blows my mind, some of the stuff we've done, you know? Like, for real. Wiz is the Rocky Balboa of Pittsburgh. I've never seen anything like it. People who know, know. He cares about the world, he cares about people. He's an icon now. It was like the next era of rap. We're from a neighborhood called Hazelwood, Pittsburgh. I moved all around Pittsburgh, but that's the nucleus for me. That's where all my partners is from. We didn't get in no club yesterday, dog. And the same thing happened on Friday. We just keep trying to know. get in, and they don't oh, let us in. in <laughs> they don't be letting us in nowhere. I remember him as just like this lanky kid with big clothes. He was already wearing Chuck Taylors at that point. He always had the P hat on. He always had the pirate hat on. One of my homies, Freeze, he already knew of Wiz and knew some people around him. He introduced us in the studio and we made a song that night, so that's where it started. He always was upbeat. He always was trying to do something, always creating. You know, he brought a good spirit to the studio, so we always had fun. I'm fucking high. <laughs> I met Wiz a couple times, like around the neighborhood, because he went to school with a lot of my cousins. They all went to the same high school. And I think Chevy went to the studio maybe like 04, 05. And he was like, yo, Wiz got the complete package. Like, I gotta get you in the studio with him. Sledging on the beat. We just bonded. I don't know how it happened. It just, it just happened. Like, nobody forced it. When I was in high school, like I used to wear Chucks and people used to tease me and stuff. So when he had them on, like it just went hand in hand. Like talked about smoking papers, like my parents smoked papers. It was just organic. I always got teased for wearing Chucks, but I was in high school. So I was like, I wasn't spending all my money on clothes. Like I was spending mine on weed and the studio. <laughs> like that was it. Somehow I became the face of what the heck was going on. And so people started knowing us for wearing Chucks. It just happened in stages, you know? When I started, it was just about music and just about being hungry and just loving what I do and trying to get better and better. And then that developed into a passion where I was like, okay, now I can hustle and do what I love at the same time. Also through that time, I met E. Dan and Chad and Huggy, and they were kind of like schooling me to the game that they had been brought up in. So I was able to just be like a student of the game. Wiz Khalifa is my homie and musical brother, the kid that came into my life and gave me a place in the larger world of music. And this is for anyone who's seen a nigga vision from the beginning, realize that you made it clear.